Hi folks, my name is Martin and this is my second video on City Skylines, the grand strategy game. And today I'm going to focus on just one particular aspect of the game and that is roundabouts. Uh, roundabouts, uh, even they can get congested. They can show up as red in your traffic info. So if I go over to the traffic info panel, you can see this roundabout, which provides a connection from this highway to these three arterial roads, has gone very red and is starting to get very congested. So what I've learned is there's four easy steps uh, to, rec to correct this problem. And I've learned these from others. I haven't invented these myself, but I kind of look at it as four easy steps and I've put it together into one video. So I'm just going to pause the game for a little bit here. So the first thing to do is to provide a direct connection from one side of the roundabout to the other. I believe that looking at this roundabout that there's a lot of traffic that's trying to go, I'll call it north-south, even though there really isn't cardinal directions here. My industry area is up here, my residential area is down here. So my presumption is that a lot of the traffic, although it's a, probably a toss up between east, west and north, south, I'm going to create a direct connection in a north, south direction. I'm going to call it that anyway, even though it's not really a cardinal direction. So to do that, I have to take away this and take away that connection. And we're just going to build a bridge. Uh, right across the roundabout. So I'm just going to make it six lanes, which is what the approaching roads are. And I'll go up uh, 12 units. That should be enough to clear the highway, and it is. And we'll go straight across, clear the highway, and come back down. So the next thing I have to do is to recreate that connection uh, to the roundabout. And the way I propose to do that is by using ramps. And I'm going to use two lane ramps and make a two lane ramp connection from there to there. And from there to there. Oh, I got a problem. Doesn't want to do it. Let's move out a little farther. And it likes that better. Okay, so it's not symmetrical. I'm not going for good looks. I'm going for functionality at the moment, but you get the idea. Now I've now separated uh, some of the turning movements and conflict areas by putting a crossing straight across and by having a ramp in here and a ramp uh, to the right. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Just turn it around. And we'll put a ramp in. I'm using two lane ramps. I might not need them, but it let's go with the two lane ramp for now. And let's go over here and we'll actually do the same thing. So I'll take that connection out and put a ramp in. And this may be overkill, but let's do it. So it's not the prettiest, but it works. Or ho I'm hoping it works. And so now I'm going to go to the junction tool. See what happens now at the traffic junction. So here I'm going to take out the traffic signals. I don't need those. Oops, I got to get rid of the road uh, function. And again, go back to the junction. I'm going to take out the traffic signals there. They're already gone there. And I'll take them out there. The next thing I do is use the Traffic Manager Presence Edition to de determine priorities at each junction. And you can already see I've got some priorities set here which I might have to play with, but let's go. Well, first of all, you know what? I'm going to go to the uh, lane connector function. Sorry, not lane connector. 
change lane arrows. So the change lane arrows, I don't want people turning left here. I want them turning right only. And then, so that's that one here. I don't want them turning left. I only want them going straight through because they'll use the roundabout if they want to make those movements. Here, going right is fine. So let's just go around the two lefts. And I don't want this. I don't want them trying to make a left-hand turn there. That's fine. And I don't want them trying to make a left-hand turn there either. So basically just straighten it out so that it simplifies the movements. And they'll stay on the roundabout if that's the move that they really want to make. Oh, and I forgot one. It's here. That's okay. And there. In this case, we just want them going straight through. Instead of making any turning movements. So now we've used the Traffic Manager's President's Edition to clean up what's going to happen here. I'm not sure if I need to use the lane connector uh, just yet. I'm going to leave it for now. And I'm going to hit play. And let's just see how the congestion works out here. So the trucks have and cars have to reconfigure themselves since I've moved the roads around. But it looks like things are starting to move pretty good. I'll take a look at it from this direction. There's a little bit of congestion here. Yeah, so if you look here, they're all trying to make it into the same lane and that always, I can never understand that, why the AI of this game does that. So if I use this and I, for example, go like that. Oh, wait a second, stop. Let's stop that. I don't think I need that. Something, it looks like they're stopped because of the light. Let's go back to the junction. And is there, no, there's no light. So let's just set a priority at the intersection. We'll do that here. So I'll make them yield. Oh, sorry, that guy yields. And here we'll do the same thing. And here. traffic yielding that needs to yield. So I think that's working pretty good. Okay, I do have traffic jamming up here. So let's take a look. They're all fighting for the same lane, so I will use the lane connector to try to manage that and see if this helps. So I'm going to force them to take that lane and force these guys to take that lane. And this guy here is going to have to take this lane. I'll allow that guy to change over one lane and that's it. And then that guy can go straight through. I'm not sure if that's going to fix it, but let's give it a few moments and see what happens. So there's something funky going on right here as these guys try to get around what I've done. So it'll take a couple of seconds for that to clear, I hope, and then they'll stop doing that. And they have. Okay, so now it's moving a little bit better. Okay. So we've done a number of things. We still have traffic 
a lot of traffic at this intersection. It's now, if you look at it from the sky, it looks more like an interchange than a roundabout. Uh, we've almost transformed it into an interchange. And I guess you can't totally get away from the traffic congestion, but uh, it's always going to be there. So, but I think it's a slight improvement. And if I go back to the traffic info tool, well, it's not much of an improvement at all. Look at that. Well, we've done some improvement, but not much. So, eh. Well, I wonder what else we can do. We have people over here that are all fighting for the same intersection. So that's another thing we can try to, we'll, we'll use the lane connector again to try to straighten this out. Of course, these guys over here. that does that again there's a little bit of a conflict it's not too bad now that I've moved the traffic over it's actually moving quite well at that junction and things are moving better there so I think I've had just a little bit more success and if I look over here well, it shows red here, but there's no traffic. And it shows red here, and obviously it's red there. So I think this is much better than what I had before. And even though it shows red, I don't think it's necessarily a problem, even though the game is trying to tell you that it is. So there's four steps that I've used to try to fix congestion at a roundabout. So one was the direct connection across. I'll just turn this off. Let's go back to the regular view. So one was the direct connection right across the interchange, sorry, the roundabout. And then if, from there you split the, uh, the turning movements. And from there we use the, uh, the traffic routes view to toggle off the traffic signals. And then we use the traffic manager's president's edition uh, to determine the rights of way in other words, who has to yield and who has a priority. And the last thing uh, I did was I used the traffic manager present edition lane connector to try to manage conflict areas better. And what you see there is the result. So thank you for watching. If you have any comments, uh, please leave them and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down or if you have a constructive comment, I'm more than willing to listen to it. I'm pretty new to the game. I'm just learning and it helps me. I figure if I can explain something to somebody else, then I must have learned something myself. So thanks. We'll see you later.